Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are comparing and contrasting Palantir Technologies PLTR stock with Salesforce's CRM stock to determine which software stock is the better buying opportunity right now. So for more videos on the best stocks to buy, or if you want more stock comparison videos, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these companies, and with that being said, let's get right into it. First, I want to start off by saying that these companies do very different things, so it is relatively hard to compare these companies to each other. However, they do share the similarity that both of them are software development companies. So at least at a value standpoint, we can compare them to one another in that regard. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company, which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies, and you should also be aware that this company specializes in artificial intelligence. On the other hand, we have Salesforce, which focuses on customer relationship management, also known as CRM. The main comparison tool we're going to be using today is the price to earnings ratio. You should also be aware that the software development industry has a PE multiple average between around 50.7 times and 61.5 times. And in an ideal world, we would want these companies to have a lower PE ratio within their overall industry because that could indicate that they are a good buy opportunity. So let's get right into it. Starting off with Palantir Technologies, which has a gap PE ratio of 165.4 times, meaning that this company is relatively expensive in this regard. That's why if you do a lot of research on this company, many investors are trying to wait for a more attractive buying opportunity to get into this stock. If Palantir's overall share price were to decrease, or if their earnings were to increase, this PE ratio, which is their price to earnings ratio, would start to drop, making this company a better buying opportunity. You should be aware that Palantir finished the entire year of 2023 as a Gap profitable company, and this company has also greatly benefited from their association with artificial intelligence. As we've said before, Palantir Technologies started to invest into artificial intelligence before it was mainstream. This gives the company a huge competitive advantage, and honestly, they have no real competitors. They are a market leader in artificial artificial intelligence, which is why they are one of my top picks in regards to AI stocks. Despite their very high P.E. ratio, investors are taking the bet of buying this company at a premium, meaning that they are relatively expensive right now, but they believe that they will grow into their valuation. But more risk-averse investors believe that Palantir is overhyped right now because their valuation has gotten too far ahead of itself, and this is very prominent in regards to their P.E. ratio like we talked about earlier. Another problem that some investors see with Palantir is that they are extremely risky because it's virtually impossible to to predict what small detail could trigger a large sell-off in this company, considering that a lot of retail investors are invested into this company. So depending on good or bad news, this could cause the company's share price to absolutely plummet. Now, here are the things that I like about Palantir Technologies that I don't think this article does justice to. And I'm going to start off talking about the liquidity on their balance sheet. They have loads of cash and or cash equivalents on their balance sheet, which means that this company is not at risk of going out of business anytime soon. On top of that, they are very profitable. So with a lot of money on their balance sheet and this company being profitable, they are not really at risk of going out of business by any means. On top of that, they virtually have no debt and they are a market leader in their respected space. So all of these reasons put together is why Palantir stock is already up around 25% this year despite their premium valuation. In regards to their financials, Palantir posted their adjusted earnings of $0.08 cents per share, which came in line with consensus estimates. And they also brought in revenue of around $634.3 million, which beat analyst estimates because analysts thought the company was only going to bring in around $615.4 million. Meanwhile, for the entire year, the company forecasts that they will bring in revenues between 2.677 billion and 2.689 billion dollars, which is very healthy for this company. Palantir is also rapidly expanding their U.S. commercial revenues, which currently comes in at a growth rate of around 45%, which is very impressive. More good news about this company is that their total contract value is growing very rapidly, to where the company posted a 131% year-over-year increase in this metric, which outperformed their fourth quarter's 107% gain. As their total contract value continues to increase by them landing 
more and more contracts. This will lead to more profits and revenues going forward, which will decrease their overall PE ratio like we talked about earlier. Again, the lower the PE ratio goes, the better buying opportunity from a value standpoint the stock becomes. That's why a lot of investors believe in Palantir over the long term that they can grow into their lofty valuation, even though the company is rather expensive right now. But at the same time, other investors are waiting for a more attractive buying opportunity into this stock after some news comes out about it, which will scare investors. This will cause Palantir to dip in their overall share price, and to me, that gives investors the best buying opportunity. So now let's go over their price targets before we start to talk about how they compare with Salesforce. Currently, Palantir Technologies PLTR stock has a hold consensus among professionals, to where they have two buy ratings, seven hold ratings, and three sell ratings, with an average price target of $22.11. And this would equate to around 2.9% upside over the next 12 months if we take their average price target. But you should be aware that some analysts believe this company could fall to around $9 per share, while others believe it could surge up to around $35 per share. For me personally, I think Palantir is at least worth around $25 to $30 as long as they continuously improve in their fundamentals and financials as time goes on. But if they were ever to falter in either of those regards, the share price will absolutely plummet because the company cannot withstand or uphold their current PE ratio. And with that being said, now let's talk about Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM. Salesforce has a much more digestible PE ratio coming in at around 41 times. And if we compare that to Palantir's 165 times, obviously from a value standpoint in regards to their PE accounting ratio, this company is a much better value opportunity for investors, if I can even use the word value here, because both of these companies are very aggressive growth stocks. Salesforce recently posted around $2.44 per share in their adjusted earnings, and they also brought in $9.13 billion worth of revenue. However, this was somewhat of a mixed bag, because although they beat on their earnings estimates for what Wall Street thought the company was going to bring in, they actually faltered in regards to their revenues, because the revenues were supposed to come in at around $9.15 billion, but they only brought in $9.13 billion. To add more bad news, Salesforce's future guidance was not very impressive. As an example, their adjusted earnings per share, also known as EPS, is anticipated to come in between $2.34 to $2.36, while analysts think that the company should actually bring in $2.38. So again, this actually misses analysts' estimates. Likewise, in regards to the revenue, the company thinks that they will bring in around $9.2 billion, to $9.25 billion worth of revenue, but analysts think that the company should actually bring in around $9.37 billion. So again, they are missing the mark there. But there is good news here because the company is rapidly increasing their gap profitability by bringing in large amounts of net income. So what does all this mean for the stock? Well, Salesforce currently has a buy rating among professionals with 21 buy ratings, 8 hold ratings, and 0 sell ratings. Right now, the average price target for this company is around $296.89 sense, which means that this company has around 31% upside potential over the next 12 months according to their average share price target among analysts. But like we've said earlier, this company could actually fall to around $230 according to some professionals, and others believe it could surge up to around $365 according to some experts. So when we compare Salesforce to Palantir Technologies, obviously Salesforce has the better PE ratio, but if we look at the future growth metrics of both of these companies, you could make a case that Palantir is actually the superior company because of their larger addressable market in regards to artificial intelligence. But I'm going to leave that up to you. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.